Here at the Topkapi Palace and Museum, we're now visiting the Imperial Treasury Armory. Here within this room is contained various implements used in warfare from the Ottoman period, from also the 7th through the 20th centuries. Behind me, you can see Ottoman-style helmets, different uh, knives, also uh, armor used to protect the soldiers in battle. Let's walk around and see what else we can find. Also, this is a very interesting bow that was used for arrows as well in battle and shield. We have some more shields, body armor, swords, as well as helmets. Here are arrows that were used. Look how long these are. Javelins almost. These are uh, huge javelins that would have been used in battle. Also, uh, different kinds of arrows. These also uh, are very impressive to me, very unique. These are Turkish uh, guns that have been used from the 16th through the 19th centuries. Look how large. They're very unique in their design. Look at how large the actual barrel is, as well as uh, just the intricate of the design with the gold leaf. Absolutely beautiful. For a gun. <laughs> And in this case, we have different pistols. Uh, also, again, looking at the 18th century, uh, some of them. And then in this, on this side of the case, these are uh, Turkish specifically designed from the 18th, 19th centuries. And then we have a Japanese coat of arms. Also, uh, this is, let's see, from the 15th century. Very beautiful. Actually, this sword in the very front is a Roman sword from the 15th century. We are standing in the great treasury room of the Topkapi Palace Museum. This is an actual signet ring that was used by Sultan Selim I in the early 16th century. He is the one who commissioned this room and he put his seal on this room as a signature saying that if anyone put anything else but gold in here, of course he filled it with gold and he put his seal from his ring on the door. And if anyone put anything else but gold inside, they were to change the seal and put their own because he only wanted to be known for having put gold in this room. Also, we have different pendants, different agates that were used by sultans throughout the years, throughout the centuries. This beautiful, beautiful throne that was a Arife throne used for special occasions. This was made by the same craftsman who made the Blue Mosque. His name is uh, Seraf Kash Mehmet Ah. Also, we have different flasks, ornamental writing boxes as well, used by sultans, beautifully decorated with gold and various expensive priceless jewels. Also, we have a beautiful agate here that would have been worn on the sultan's cap. Absolutely beautiful. Also, we have different pendants, and on this wall we have three spectacular thrones. This one was brought from India during a conquest. This ebony throne inlaid with mother of pearl is absolutely breathtaking. You can look at the intricate detail. I can't imagine the time it would have take to, that it would have taken to have made such a throne. Obviously, this one inlaid with gold, as well as various beautiful jewels. And this pendant that's hanging, I don't know if you can see it from there, but the emeralds inside are absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous is the word that comes to mind. Here we have a place where you would have put your arrows, a quiver, and different seals that would have gone, or rings that would have gone on the arrows themselves, inlaid with various priceless jewels. Here we have also the sword and shield that are laden with turquoise and have gold, gold plating absolutely beautiful here just but one room in the beautiful jewel jewel and precious uh, gems armory of the Topkapi palace here in another room of the Topkapi museum treasury we find several beautiful artifacts here this is a beautiful sword and sheath that is laden with gold and precious jewels 
And this diamond is the most spectacular of all items here in the Tokapi Treasury Museum. This diamond is an 86 karat Kashikja diamond. Where did it come from? It was actually found in a rubbish bin here in the Erkape area of Istanbul. It was then discovered by a street peddler. He sold it for three spoons. Then it was later discovered to be a diamond. It was polished, prepared, brought here to the Sultan. He purchased it for his own treasury. Absolutely spectacular. There are 49 smaller diamonds that surround this beautiful 86 karat diamond.